Hello, 你好，我是 Katrina. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you several useful sentences when you're in China or in Taiwan. Now, let's get started. When you start learning some Mandarin, you want to practice with some Mandarin speaker. But sometimes your Chinese is not so good, and then you want to say, "I'm sorry, my Chinese is not so good." Can you speak English? Do you know how to speak English? Well, in that case, we would say, 不好意思，我的中文不好。你会说英文吗 ？Again, 不好意思。Excuse me, I'm sorry, but not really. You made a mistake, so you say 不好意思。我的中文 my Mandarin 不好 ，not good. 你会 Do you know how to 说英文吗？ Do you know how to speak English? 不好意思，我的中文不好。你会说英文吗 ？Number two, I'm sorry. Please speak slowly. 不好意思，请说慢一点。不好意思 ，Excuse me. 请 Please， 请说慢一点。Slow. Okay. Man is slow, and 一点 is little. So slower, 慢一点。不好意思，请说慢一点。Excuse me, please speak slowly. And if you want to see the full episode of how to express um my Chinese is not good, please slowly. We have video up there, which you can hit the link right there. Okay, the next sentence. I'm sorry, I don't understand. 对不起。我听不懂。对不起 ，I'm sorry. 我听 ，I listen. 不懂 ，not understand. Means that I hear you, but I don't understand. 对不起，我听不懂。对不起，我听不懂。Next one. This one is a popular one. If you are in the restaurant and you know how to speak Mandarin, but you don't really know how to read Chinese character. So when people give you the menu, when the shop owner give you the red menu, and you want to say, "I'm sorry, I don't, I can't read Chinese character. Can you give me the English menu?" In that case, you would say, 老板。老板 is how you address the、uh, shop owner or the restaurant owner. So 老板，我。看不懂 ，I see but not I. I don't understand. So, 看不懂 means I can't read. I don't know how to read. I can't read. 我看不懂中文字。I can't read Chinese character. 我看不懂中文字。字 is like character. 我看不懂中文字。你们有英文菜单吗？你们 refers to the restaurant. You, do you? 你们有 you guys have 英文 English 菜单 menu. Ma is a yes no question. 老板，我看不懂中文字。你们有英文菜单吗？老板。我看不懂中文字，你们有英文菜单吗？英文菜单 ，so 菜单 is menu. Next one. Next context is when you are in a busy restaurant, and because the restaurant the owner is very busy, and maybe she forgot or he forgot that have you ordered yet? And if you want to tell the restaurant owner and say, "Oh, I ordered already." You're just waiting for your order, but you want to tell the restaurant owner and say, "Oh, I ordered already." So in this case, you can say, 我已经点过了。我 I 已经 already 点过。So 点 here it comes from an action. 点餐 To order a meal is 点餐 so we just take the verb 点 and we drop the noun 餐 okay so 点餐 means to order meal. 
我已经 I already 点 the verb to order 点过了。过 is a grammatical word which I would talk about here in my advanced beginners course. It means that the experience that you had done already. So here you have to use 过我已经点过了。Lo is action completion. If you want to know what is action completion, you can also hit the link here because these two are very big grammar, you know, in Mandarin Chinese. So I cannot finish in one video. Anyway, if you want to tell the restaurant owner, "Hey, I already ordered. I'm just waiting for my order." So in this case, you can say, "我已经点过了。我已经点过了。Also, the same. If you want to say to the restaurant owner and say that. I pay already. Sometimes, yeah, it's a very busy restaurant. Sometimes they they forget that if you have paid or not. And in this case, you could say, 我刚刚已经付过了。我刚刚刚刚 is just not long time ago. Maybe a moment ago. Okay, I just paid. 我刚刚付过了。付 comes from the action, the verb. 付钱付钱 means to pay money. The same, we drop the noun 钱 and we keep the verb 付 So 付过了 So 付过了 means I have paid, completed this action already. 我刚刚已经付过了我刚刚已经付过了。Or if you want to put 付钱 in the sentence, of course, yes, you can do that. And then you would say 我刚刚已经付过钱了。我刚刚已经付过钱了。In this case, you have to separate the verb object 付钱。All the grammar points is in this link down below in my course or on my Patreon course. Okay, 我刚刚已经付过钱了。Next one. If you want to say, "I haven't paid yet," okay, maybe you're waiting for your order or waiting for your something, and then you want to tell the shop owner, restaurant owner, is that, "Oh, I haven't paid." You would say, 我还没付钱 I haven't paid. 我还没 means not yet. 付钱 means to pay money. 哎，我还没付钱 I haven't paid yet. 我还没付钱。Okay, there's another business term to say, uh, to pay for something in the restaurant or in the shop. It is called 结账，结账。Or you could also say 买单，买单。You can use either one, 结账 or 买单。It's a formal way and it's a business way to say. To pay for something, pay for your bill, pay for something in the shop. Okay, in the shop or in the restaurant. So, when you are in the restaurant, by the way, restaurant in Mandarin is 餐厅 Okay, 餐厅所以你在餐厅 you are in the restaurant, and then、um, you order something, and then the shop owner take the menu and take your order and say, 请先结账，谢谢 Sometimes they say that to the customer. 请先结账，谢谢。Please pay first, so that pay before you eat. 请 please 先 means first to do something in advance. Okay, so 请先结账，结账 is to pay, right? Or you could say 请先买单，谢谢。请先结账 ，or 请先买单，谢谢。When you hear that, means that you have to pay first. And the next one, sometimes when we finish ordering our stuff, and we know we have to、uh, pay 结账买单付钱 first, and we don't know where do we pay. And in this case, you could ask, 请问在哪里买单？请问，请问 means may I ask. 在哪里 is where 买单 to pay or 结账 where to pay? 请问在哪里买单 or 请问在哪里结账 The next one also maybe in the restaurant 
you finish, you're done、uh, ordering food, and then you want to ask the restaurant owner, "Do I pay now or do I pay later?" I think this is a very important sentence that you ask the restaurant owner, right? So, do I pay now or do I pay later? And where do I pay, right? So, how do you say, "Do I pay now or do I pay later?" That would be, 请问现在买单还是等一下买单？请问 Miss May I ask? 现在 Miss Now 买单 is to pay, right? 请问现在买单还是 Miss Or? This is a question or only appears in the question. So, 请问现在买单 May I ask? Do I pay now? 还是 Or? 等一下，等一下 It could mean wait a second, but also it could mean Later, 请问现在买单还是等一下买单？请问现在买单还是等一下买单 ？OK, or you can change the verb. You can say, 请问现在结账还是等一下结账 ？So you can change the verb to 结账。OK, or there's another shorter way you can say, 请问现在付还是等一下付 ？So what is 付？ Fu is fu qian, so we just take the verb fu means to pay money, fu qian, because the context is given and implied, and people exactly know what you're saying. So you could say, 请问现在付 now pay 还是 or 等一下 later 付，请问现在付还是等一下付 So the shop owner will tell you, oh, 现在付 Or 等一下付 Okay,、uh, I got this question a lot.、Uh, my student asked me. You know, sometimes it's very crowded outside in night market or supermarket, whatever. It's really crowded, and you want to say, "Excuse me, can I?" You want to go through somewhere, and、uh, yeah, how do you say that? In English, you say, "Excuse me, excuse me," right? In Mandarin, we say, 不好意思，借过。不好意思 ，excuse me。不好意思，借过，借过。Okay, this is a funny expression because 借 means to borrow， 过 means to go over to a place。So it literally like， 啊、uh, ，you're you're you're in my way， someone is in your way， and you're telling someone， 啊、uh, ，excuse me。Can I borrow the space and then go through? You know, can I borrow the space? 借嘛 right? So can I borrow the space? Go over there. So that's I think it's too polite in Mandarin. Okay, 不好意思，借过 Or you could say to say 借过，借过 If you want to learn more Mandarin Chinese, and you can watch my video lesson here、uh, in my online school, or you can join me on my Patreon monthly subscription. You can watch 200 plus video lesson, my ebook, and my PDF file, and my podcast. Until then, thank you for watching. 我们下次见，再见。